Hey guys, how's it going? I actually thought, I thought I would be doing a long run today, uh, and my plan stopped, but I'm coming in here to shoot an additional vlog. It's Saturday. Cheers to you. Hopefully you're drinking your water. I didn't mean to give you the finger there. It just happened to be the finger that... I just drank, what, a third of that? A third of the whole bottle. Here's the thing. I'm shooting this vlog for two reasons. Number one, who was it that, well, actually a couple of you have written me lately going, what's up, where's the sweaty vlogs? You're right, I haven't been doing my post-workout uh, sweaty vlogs. I'm only just a little bit sweaty. I'm starting to get sweaty because I just came in. But um, the reason I'm not colossal sweaty is um, really disappointed. How many times have I just said, um? <laughs> it's funny because somebody I was talking to recently said, when I listen to you speak, it's really nice because you don't say um all the time. And now I just said it in my vlog about 50 times. Um and like are two things that people use way too much. I'm trying to be aware of that. Um, so a couple observations. Uh, went out for my run, and this is the second time this week, and I'm trying to figure out exactly if I'm, if I've figured out the correlation, what it is, or not. Um, by the way, I'm curious, do, do you, other people that run, do you wear these? Um, I've started wearing them because when I do go, I'm usually, by the time I get halfway, I'm so sweaty and it's pouring in my eyes and stuff. I have yet to find, somebody was wearing like a Lululemon headband. I forget, at uh, Healthy Living Summit, and they said that really keeps the hair out of their face, but a couple of things. Started on my run, and see this little strand of hair? It was blowing in my mouth. Now, you might think that's not a big deal, but it was blowing just enough that when I was breathing in, it was like almost making me gag. So, starting to think about headbands. I'm just curious if you guys wear wristbands when you run outside and it's very hot. Works for me, I'm gonna have to get some more. Um, but anyway, second time this week, that I've gone for a run and thought I would go for, well today I wanted to go for an hour run. I wanted to do a long run because I didn't work out yesterday. And, um, oh, that's Garth Brooks. Must have my country station on. No haters, please. If you don't like country music, just move on, okay? I like all kinds of music. Um, but I went out for my run and got halfway and then I turn around and uh, maybe it was, I was turning around and then I was gonna go the way that takes me longer. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, welcome to stomachache.com. Um, I had this earlier, I probably put it on Daily Mile. I had to turn around and walk the rest of the way, <laughs> walking very fast, I might add, and taking a shortcut because I was like, if I don't get home, something embarrassing is gonna happen. I'm just gonna let you wonder. Um, <laughs> I had the kind of stomach ache that was like, uh, like the, whatever was left in my stomach was like, ah, get me out of here. That kind of a thing. Aren't you glad you tuned into my vlog today? Um, but anyway, I guess I'm thinking that I'm, I'm trying to remember, you know what? Here's what's in common with both of these runs. That sounds really gross. <laughs> I have my mind in the bathroom today. Um, anyway. Here is what is in common with both times that I've had an upset stomach. Number one, I do think there's something to be said for my metabolism, my body, um, that I cannot go running uh, or do cardio of any kind, you know, high intensity, um, when I have had a protein meal. Um, I really do well. I'm fine if I take, if I either run on a fully, that makes no sense, I was going to say fully empty stomach. Tune into me every day for things that sound really stupid. Um, I either do um, good on a very empty stomach, or I've, I've done where I'll just have like a, a half of a banana with some almond butter on it uh, for fuel, if you will. Um, but definitely, like today, I'd had my lunch at like, I'm guessing it was about, it's 5.30 now. I'm thinking it was about, obviously it was late. I. I Ate, I slept in, I ate breakfast late, I ate lunch late. I think I was eating my lunch around 2.30. And then it's 5.30 now. 
by the time I've been rambling and by the time I left, I think it was before five. Um, but really, even after two hours, um, I had leftover meatballs with red sauce, um, two of them. And let's just say I can still like, I don't know how to describe it. Still saying like a lot. I could feel it in my stomach. And I don't know, see right now, I'm fine. The other day when I ran, I had he eaten um, chicken gyro. I think in that case it was because I had half the chicken gyro on lettuce. I didn't do any bread uh, the night before, and then I was having half that chicken gyro for lunch or dinner, whatever. But I was dipping some of the chicken in that a little bit of the tzatziki sauce, however you say that. Kids, I only had like a tablespoon of that, if that, and I was really sick from that. So when I went running that time, about the same thing, got about, a, a, I don't know if it's like when you run, you're shaking up whatever's in your stomach and it's like, oh, damn, I'm saying like too much. Anyway, got, you know, a mile and a half out and turned around and all of a sudden was feeling really, really gross. And, and I, I took a shortcut home. I walked the rest of the way, praying the whole way, going, God, please, 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 just let me get home, just let me get home, just let me get home. I thought I was going to have to lay down on the side of the road in fetal position and hope somebody would pick me up and make me feel better. Um, today, I had to take the shortcut because I sensed it felt the same way. And I thought, time to get home. But right now, I feel okay. Like, I'm actually planning to go out in my garage and, and do some lifting. Um, but I guess, lesson learned, and I'm curious, for those of you that run, or if running is part of your, your workout uh, routine every week, do you... Do you eat before you run? If so, what do you eat? And um, I'm just curious if you think it's a if it's protein or if it's that I had bad protein. I wonder what that is. No, because I had I got a, a serving of meatballs. I brought some over to my dad. He had some. I had some for dinner that night, and then I had maybe one yesterday, and I had two today from Portillo's. They're so good. Anyway, my stomach aches fine right now, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But I will tell you this, I will not be going running unless I have an empty stomach um, and maybe only like, you know, the typical banana or since I'm not doing bread, it'll be, I, I eat a banana or nothing. Because that's what works for me. So I'm curious to see what works for you. But um, for those of you that had written me and said, how come you haven't been doing the sweaty vlogs, I apologize. Um, the past month has truly been a blur with moving. Um, we were out in California. I came home, moved, had to, you know, it was, it was moving, moving in, unpacking, getting my internet set up, getting my phone. Then I think I left, I don't even know. It was, it was a crazy week of just catching up. In my world, when you take two days off, that's for other people like taking a month off. Um, so then I was, I was buried and then when did I leave for Boston? Um, last Wednesday through Sunday and see when I go on these trips it's not like in that case it made sense to say like it's not like um, I'm on vacation and taking a break it's complete completely packed schedule the entire time and then I made the mistake of coming back the second I get home I don't even give myself a chance to catch up uh, so the number one thing that I'm going to be changing about my whole life going forward I've just continued to make this mistake I I say I'm going to give myself a break. I say I'm going to take time for myself. I say I'm going to not overschedule myself, and then I get in this habit. Momentum starts building. Our company is exploding. It's wonderful. I, I just overcommit myself. I say yes to everybody, and I don't give myself enough time to for myself personally, but I also don't give myself time to just catch up. Um, so I'm really going to be working on scheduling starting this week and it's silly but you know scheduling my workouts into my uh, work calendar in my CRM scheduling um, when I do my workouts and scheduling um, recovery time from for me recovery time from work meaning if I have eight hours of calls I have to schedule in two hours of follow-up on those calls because that's what I've been doing you guys might think it's silly but I'll schedule last week if you looked at my schedule it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Was I gone last week? Yeah, uh, whenever. And you know, Monday, getting up, working in the morning, doing my workout, showering, and then 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, take a break, attempt to go running maybe, if I hadn't worked out before. Then I come back, oh, we have a Twitter chat that night. So then we do a Twitter chat, and then, f then I'll you know, put a few more fires out. And then it's like 
usually 10, 1030, that I finally pull myself out of there and go, you know what, it's time to watch a crime show. And then I watch a crime show and then I go to bed and then I get up and it's all over. So I'm getting up the next morning, not even giving myself time to catch up from what I need to catch up from the day before. And then I keep saying, I'm gonna do it by the weekend. Well, then I get to the weekend and I don't have a weekend because I'm catching up on five days worth of backlog plus the week before's backlog. Um, I can't do it anymore. And I'm not doing myself any sir just a service, certainly not doing my clients a service um, if I'm burnt out and overwhelmed. So the number one thing I'm gonna be working on is um, calming down my calendar. And I have to, I'm gonna to have to say to some people like, sorry, I can't talk to you for two weeks, for three weeks. I'm not being a douchebag, but that's how busy we are. So what am I gonna do? I'm also wearing my um, compression socks. Might have told you guys that we're going to be doing um, some of these Twitter chats. We're going to launch our new Fitfluential um, Twitter chat schedule. We were hoping that we do it in August. Welcome to a world of a startup. So um, that's probably going to launch, is it September 1st yet? It's almost September 1st. But one of the topics will be compression. Um, compression for CrossFit, compression for, um, for running. What does it mean? Why do you do it? What, where do you wear it? Why do you wear it? How do you wear it? How do you buy it? Blah, blah, blah. Because I know I was confused. I was like, oh, that's cool. Everybody's wearing compression. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sure most people don't. So um, anyway, for those of you that are starting to say, I'd like to tune into that, um, or I have ideas for questions that I'd like to ask, feel free to leave it in the comments. I can kind of make that stuff happen. You guys have a good rest of the day. And Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, and I forget who was it. They said, why do you call your arms Mr. Flo? Oh, that's one of my lovely friends out there. In, uh, where do you live, Mr. Flo? Slovakia, I think? Or uh, Germany? Somewhere over there where I am geographically challenged. Anyway, there you go. You guys have a good day. Time for me to go work some of this out in the garage, hardcore-like. <laughs>